How to manage and add categories to your Wix website. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do so. Basically, categories are going to be for different types of products that you want to sell for your Wix. And you can categorize them based on different aspects of these products. So you can make them, uh, you, you could say certain filters for them. So people can actually search for specific products in a specific filter much easier this way so uh it is going to be a very simple process but i'm going to take you step by step meaning i'm going to take you from step one which is adding the actual store and products until showing you how to add the actual categories so bear with me and you will end up knowing exactly what to do with that being said you are going to be uh, logging into your wix website which is the main thing and then once you actually go ahead and open up your uh, your dashboard here, uh, it should look something like this. But I know it says Wix Studio on the top left, but I need to stress that this is not for Wix Studio. This is for the default Wix editor. Uh, it just says Wix Studio because previously I have um, created a Wix Studio site, but this is for the default one. Now, with that being out of the way, if you did not add the store already and your products and you don't see a catalog option here on your Wix dashboard, it should be around here between the getting paid and the apps section. Somewhere uh, somewhere along the all payments and apps, you should be able to see catalog. If you don't find it, that means you did not actually create or add a store to your site just yet. So in order to do so, it's very simple. You just want to go to your home page. And then from the home page, you basically want to click on uh, edit site or design site from the top right. This should open up the site editor. And then from here, we are going to access the app store. I know even so, even though it says apps here, but it's, it's going to do it for us regardless. So we're just, you know, making it short uh, and opening up the editor. So once this loads in, I'm going to show you what's next. Okay, so once your Wix editor opens up you basically want to go to the add apps section from the left panel which is going to open up the app market for you and you're simply going to search for wix stores this should uh, show you this option right here which is wix stores with a uh, blue bag right here and you basically just want to click on add to site and complete the installation process for it so once it's actually added you're going to notice some stuff that actually got added to your site including a page for all different products uh, this is going to showcase some sample products that they add for you uh, at first that you can feel free to remove later on but we're just going to keep them and it's going to have a page uh, this is very important when it comes to categories because uh, by default you're going to have an all products page without any categories so next up what we're going to do is actually just save and um let me just save this and exit and basically you just want to go back to the uh, dashboard once you actually you know saved so i'm just going to do that real quick and I get back to you so once you have saved you can just simply restart here on your dashboard and this uh, this should show up the catalog section here for you as you can see we have beneath sales here we have catalog which is uh pretty much where we need to adjust the categories and stuff but first you want to go to store products within the catalog section and click on products. I know you see categories, but we are not there yet. We want to click on products and first add our products to ensure we add categories later on. So this is going to be the first step. Uh, and as Wix does actually add some samples here for you, uh, you can feel free to just remove all of them if you want to. You can keep them and play around with them if you want. It's up to you. So I'm going to... Instead of, instead of actually adding my own products, I'm actually going to use them just to make this video uh, shorter for you guys. Uh, but you can obviously go ahead and highlight all of them. You, you can just select all and just delete. And then to add a new product, it's very simple. You just click on new product from the top right. Select whether it's a digital file or a physical product and fill in the information needed. So if it's a physical product, write more about it. Same goes with the digital and provide the file for the digital one. So now that we have our, uh, you could say products ready to go, they are going, uh, they're not going to have any categories for them just yet. They're just, you know, random products that you have on your store and it's going to be appearing for your all products page. Now to create categories, it's very simple. You want to go ahead and go to catalog and then within catalog, you are going to find categories. So 
click on categories and this is going to open up the menu here for you and i believe wix does actually create never mind that confirms that it does not actually create any categories for us by default you're going to have the all products category which is a must to have because this is going to showcase all products but for your case what you need to do is just go ahead and click on the plus icon or new category from the top right it doesn't really make a difference and this is going to allow us to group specific products uh, into one category so we can just name this category for example um Honestly, I'm not sure. So let's just do test one because, you know, I don't really have my own products. They're just samples. So I'm not sure how to categorize them. I'm just going to name the category test one. And then you're going to add a category image. Just click on here. This is, you know, this is actually going to make a difference. This image is going to show for people. So uh, I highly recommend that you have a good image for it because it's going to indicate what type of category this is. For example, if it's, you know, the category of shirts, then you would want to find an image that showcases different shirts, that kind of stuff, you know. So just click on upload media, uh, but I'm just going to get something from Wix, a random image and use it. So I just added this image of horses from Wix's uh, free images and as if we're going to sell horses. But anyways, you're going to also add the description describing what this category is all about. So just, you know, tell people what this category is, uh, you know, selling is pretty much. So once that's done, you can just scroll down and finally add products to your category. But this is also going to include an option here, uh, which is going to uh, decide whether it's going to be active on your site or not. If it's not, then there's no use for it for this entire category, except that you are going to categorize these items for your own sake. But if it is active, then it's, people are going to be able to see it, basically, and filter using it. So I'm just going to add a few products to this. So for example, this, uh, the first three, let's just go for the first three and click on add. Uh, and then we can just click on save from the bottom right. And basically, we have added our first category. So I'm just going to add one more behind the scenes and show you what um, we can use it for and how people can actually access them within Wix itself. So I'm just going to create a new one. And once I'm done, I'm going to show you what's next. Okay, great. So now that we have three different categories, all products are one of, is one of them, uh, we can simply just go back to the home page and open up the site editor. Okay, so uh, let's just break it down into two. By default, without having to do any adjustments or any further adjustments, if you just go to the pages section from the top left, just to navigate, uh, you're going to go to the store pages and if you go to the category page which is pretty much where people browse all products where you know usually you want to take people to you know view all the different products that you have if they open up this page now after you have created your uh, categories they're going to find the all product category they're going to also find an option to click on test one category and also test two and if they do that it's actually going to show them the products that are listed in each one of them so let's just preview this and click on test one. Uh, we're going to see two different changes. First, we are going to find the horses, which I don't know what it actually relates to. And then two, we are going to find the different products we have listed for the category test one. And same goes for test two here. It's going to show us the different image, which is just a mountain, and then also the products related to that. Now, number two is, if we just go back to editor, is that you can add all of this into the actual main menu of your site. So if we just go back to the home page, just so we can view that better. Uh, I know the search bar is, you know, going up in the wrong place, even the cart and stuff. So let's just move them temporarily here and see where we can just put them. So if you have just installed your store, you're going to find a shop option on your header. And this is also going to be the same as the category page. Uh, just a little different, but it's going to include the different categories. But you can feel free to just add the category page if you want to to the main menu. Simply just go to the pages and menu section here on the left dashboard. Go to site menu here and add pretty much whatever you want to add there. So we have shop. We can basically remove this and add, for example, the other option which is the categories page if you want to and then on top of that we can even do more stuff 
Uh, for example, like adding a drop down menu with different categories so people can access them right away. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So to do so, it's very simple. You just go to site menu, go to site menu one more time and click on add menu item. Click on link, not new page, click on page, and then select the page that you actually want, which is the category page. And then just go ahead and select uh, by default uh, all products. If you want to create a drop down and click on done. This is going to include the, let me just move this down here. Uh, it's not showing, because it's actually showing right here, I was about to say. Uh, but uh, you can also create a drop down if you want by clicking on add menu item, click on link, click on page, click on that and choose one more time category page, but this time select test one, for example, and click on done. And then you basically want to move this to be underneath all products. So just drag and drop it underneath like so, and it's going to be a drop down now. And obviously you can add the other one the same way. And now we can actually see if we preview. So if we preview, we're going to be able to see that we have all products as a menu option and then a drop down for test one category. So people can just click on that or even click on all products if they want to. Obviously you can add multiple different ones underneath if you want a you know more detailed uh, drop down. But this is pretty much all there is to this video. Hopefully you found it to be informative and thanks for watching.